Welcome to Brush and Sketch Draw a Zoo, and today we are going to draw a really fun animal at the zoo. That animal likes to hop, and that animal is called a kangaroo. So let's get started. Go ahead and get your sketchbook out and your drawing pencils. If you're using drawing pencils, you're going to need an HB. And then today I'm going to use a 3B. You may want to use your 2B. Uh, 4B, 5B, 6B even, any of those B pencils for the darker lines that we're going to use. However, if all you have is a piece of paper and a regular old school pencil, that works just great too. All right, let's begin. We're going to start with the shapes and we're going to draw lightly so that later we can over go, go over top of our, dark, our light lines with a darker pencil to finish the drawing. We're gonna to start today a little bit below the center of the page, kind of down here with an oval shape. Now our oval shape is going to be something like that. So it kind of tilts down a little bit, but just right there below the center of the page. Great job so far. Now the next shape is a triangle, but it sits right on top of this oval. Let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to start the one side of the triangle right here. We're going to come up like that. And then the other side is going to come down kind of like that and hit this side of the oval right there. Kind of looks like a hat for that first shape that we drew, doesn't it? All right, the next shape is, I don't know what to call it, a square or rectangle. But if you watch, you'll figure it out. It comes down like this and like this, and then just go straight across like that. Good job. All right, let's do the next one. The next one is kind of a triangle similar to what we did before, but it's at the bottom of our oval, and it's gonna come like this and like that. It's kind of confusing so far, isn't it? Don't worry, it'll come together. All right, the next shape is a rectangle that comes out here and here, but then we kind of put a slanted line at the end of it, just like that. All right, let's go up here to the top of this triangle, and I'm going to draw an oval, kind of just an oval that goes like that. Okay, now two more ovals, one here and one that comes down here. Great job. Okay, a few more shapes and then we'll be ready to get our dark pencil out. Next, we're gonna go back down to the bottom of our shapes and we're going to come right out from the bottom of this square or rectangle and come straight out like that and then do a curvy line back like that. You see? Good job. All right, a few more. Let's go over here since we're at the bottom and we're gonna do another triangle that just kind of comes up like this and across. Okay, another triangle is gonna go right here in the middle of this one and it's going to be pointing down like that. Okay, now here comes the last few shapes before we get our dark pencil. We're going to draw a line Oh, just a little bit below the middle of this one that's going to come straight out like that. And then it's going to curve around down to the bottom. Now, on top of this one, we're going to draw another oval similar to this one that we do right here, except smaller. And it's going to go right there like that. I think you can guess what that is. You know how kangaroos carry their babies around in their pouch. All right, let's draw a line from here to the, the top of the pouch and from there as well. And of course, our little baby kangaroo needs a couple ears, so let's do one there, a little oval. And this other oval, I'm gonna start here, but then I'm gonna stop because it's kind of goes, that ear goes behind the mama, and so we'll just bring it like that. Great job. Okay, now we're ready to get our dark pencil. So go ahead and get your 3B or your 2B. Or if you're just using the same old pencil, this time you will just press harder so the lines show up. We're gonna start at the top with the, the head of our kangaroo. And I'm going to come around here and just press darkly. 
right up to there, to the ear. Now, I'm going to trace the ear right down to here, come across, and right up like that. Great job. Now, two little lines in the ears. We did this for the monkey. If you watch the monkey video, we put one there and one there. And that just kind of makes the ears look like they're cupped a little bit, like the kangaroo is listening. All right, let's go ahead and come down the kangaroo's back. So we're going to start right here where that line is on the bottom of the head. And we're gonna come down and I'm gonna keep going just around the back to there, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to do the tail. If you'll know, kangaroos kind of use their tail for balance. It's kind of like a leg. They, they're such a strong tail, they can stand with it. And so we're gonna come like this, and then I'm going to curve that line a little bit. And I'm gonna curve the tip, and again, round that edge and another edge to round and right up like that. Great job, see how my corners are not sharp anymore? I've rounded them with my dark pencil. All right, now I want to start right here where this leg starts. And I'm going to do, I'm gonna follow this line but not all the way to the back. I'm just gonna go like that, okay? Now let's draw that first leg here. We're gonna come down all the way across to the tip of the toes and then up like that. Great job. All right, let's do the knee and the top part here again, just like this line. I'm gonna start right here and then I'm gonna come up and around to about there and stop. Okay, don't finish out those lines right there. All right, now let's do the tummy of the kangaroo. I'm gonna come down from the head, but I'm gonna stop when I get to the pouch. And I'm gonna come out and down and around, just like that. Good job so far. All right, let's do the arm of the mama kangaroo. And here, I'm not gonna go across the top of this triangle. I'm just going to go down the side and down the other side. And let's go to the bottom here. I want to add the leg on the other side so she looks like she's standing. And we're gonna do that by adding just a couple shapes. Right here, beside the top of this leg, I'm just gonna do a rectangle by coming down and over, just like that. And then on the top of this foot, I'm going to draw a parallel line to the top of the foot so it's going to go right beside and then right at the end, it's not gonna be parallel anymore, it's gonna come down and touch that one. See how that makes it look like there's another foot on the other side. Great job so far. Okay, we only have a few more things and we will be done our mama and baby kangaroo. All right, let's look at the baby here. We're going to do the same thing, start right up here by the bottom of the ear and come around just like that. And then when we do the ears, we'll go up down, over, and up, and then we'll come and finish this line right here. Now, do you remember those extra lines we put in the mama's ears? Let's just put them right there. One and two. Now we've got two more little lines here. One and two, that's the baby's little body. All right, now of course our kangaroo needs a smile. So let's go ahead and put a smile on mama and a smile on baby. And they need an eye, so we'll put a little eye right there and a little eye right there. And for the kangaroo's nose, let's just do a little oval and we're gonna color it in like that. And we'll do the same thing down here for the baby and just color it in like that. Now to finish up, I'm going to put just two little lines that kind of suggest hands on the end of the mama's arm and a little line there so she has some kangaroo toes. Now at this point what you can do is take your eraser and erase those light lines that we didn't use. We've got a couple of them in the tail and in the body, on the legs. 
a few light lines, the one by the pouch there, and a couple little ones in the head and the top of the arm right there. And once those are erased, look what you got. You got yourself a bouncing kangaroo for your zoo. Take a picture of your kangaroo, post it in the comments on our Facebook business page. I would love to see your drawings. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel on YouTube so every week you can see another animal to add to your sketchbook zoo. Have a great day.